Hello there, this is the EAA Chapter 1000 Standard Workbench, and I'll put a link down below to the free plans. I built about a half dozen of these over the years and found them to be a, a good, strong table, so I, I really would recommend these if you're going to build yourself a workbench. So, you know, our garage is actually a carport, and uh, to understand what I'm talking about, I, I need to take you back a few hours to where this all started. Uh, now, I'm still working with the Slow Mo and the Go Grow Pro, so, uh, you know, I've got a few little kinks to work out, but, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> you can see it's quite a, a cluttered little uh, a thing. I had to work around this as I was building that workbench, and also, I, I didn't really time it very well, and the battery on the GoPro ran out before I was through for the day. What I'm really doing here is building some overhead storage bins. You know, you can see I've got all this clutter. I need to clear this out. And what I want to do is convert this carport into a regular garage. So the first thing I had to do was build the workbench. And I felt like, because you know, you can't make good cuts on stuff without a, without a good bench. Or at least I can't do it freehand. So... Here you, you can see that workbench is plenty strong enough to step up on. And, you know, here, I, and there's plenty of, like, overhead storage plans out on the Internet. You can easily find those. Uh, this is just basically modeled after one I saw out there. Um, they were using two-by-twos in the one I found, but I, I don't have a table saw, so I just went ahead and used the two-by-fours. I had plenty of those first part here, just getting the, the board level. I, d I definitely spent some time getting that board level. Anyway, uh, here's where the GoPro ran, battery ran dead, so I'll just have to cut to the finish now. Well, almost now. There we go. So you can see how it came out. So I've got it uh, the overhead uh, storage built. I got the workbench completed. Uh, I think that came out pretty well. Uh, it's something that's, you know, relatively easy to do. And, um, you know, I'd recommend this kind of design to anyone. And I've got the garage or the carport cleaned out now. So I'm ready to go on to phase two.